Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and I'm gonna to try to teach you how to use a 3D printer. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So today marks off the first episode of a series that I'm going to be working on. Now, the aim of this series is to get absolutely anyone who is interested in 3D printing, but kind of scared or overwhelmed with all the information to see how easy it is to get yourself a 3D printer and start printing. This series has been a long time coming. I've had this idea a while ago and what sort of helped me push it even further is the fact that about a month ago I met my cousin at a fair where I was showcasing 3D printing. She told me how awesome 3D printing is and how badly she wanted to get a 3D printer but was always scared because she didn't have anyone to help her out. So once she found out that I'm into 3D printing, she got one herself. She got the printer, put it together, and about a week, two weeks after that, all by herself without any of my help, she started printing. So it's very easy to get into it once you have the right information at hand. Now Profab 3D have been extremely kind and generous to offer one of their 3D printers in order for me to do this series. For those of you unaware, Profab 3D is a Bulgarian company who uh, specializes in printing services, um, resale of printers and filaments. So I am extremely, extremely happy to be working with them on this project. Now I don't want this series to be lengthy videos of me blabbering on. I'm gonna make it short, concise, We'll do many episodes and we'll cover absolutely everything there, uh, well, at least that I can think I can cover in terms of uh, 3D printing and getting you to start printing yourself. Today, all I'm going to do is simply introduce the 3D printer that I have right here. Now, some of you may recognize this little printer right here as the Monoprice Maker Select Mini version 2. However, this is a Profab 3D rebranded version with a few custom tweaks on it just to make the experience a bit better. Now this printer has already proven itself in the market to be one of the most user-friendly and reliable printers out there and produces some great quality prints. So I believe that it would be the perfect example to use for this series. Now there are two versions of this printer. There is the Profab Mini 3D printer, which is uh, about 275 euros. And there are also the Profab Mini Plus 3D printer, which has a few uh, custom extras done by Profab 3D themselves. And that runs about 296 euros. Now, both these models come pre-assembled, as you can see right here. They have a build area of 120 millimeters on the X axis, 120 millimeters on the Y axis, and 120 millimeters on the Z axis, giving it a relatively decent size for someone who wants to get into 3D printing. It does have Wi-Fi connectivity, so you can control it via an app. It also has a heat bed, so you can print with those specialty filaments that require a heat bed, but we'll get to that at a much later stage. And the Profab Mini Plus 3D printer comes also with a removable, flexible, build plate, which also has a build tag sheet on it, which makes it much easier for prints to stick and remove. It also comes with an extra fan shroud and an extra extruder. Now, if you've never touched a 3D printer and all this is starting to sound a bit complicated, don't worry, we'll get to those. Now, when you open this particular printer, you can see that it's completely pre-assembled right out of the box. So there's not much you need to do to it. It comes with a quick start guide. It also comes with a power supply, which is in the form of a power brick. And you also get a box full of tools. Now in this box, you have the bed clips, which are only available on the Profab Mini Plus version. These are clips which attach to the bed so you can remove it easily. The spare fan shroud. You have the spare extruder system, an Allen wrench, a micro SD card, a calibration sheet, USB cable, spool holder, and also a scraper to remove your prints. Now setting up this printer is very, very easy. All you need to do is remove the build plate and then we're going to go ahead and install the bed clip so what you need to do is undo one screw at a time from the heat bed once that is done is simply slide in one of the bed clips reinsert the screw and tighten it back up and as you can see when you slide the bed in place you simply lock it in 
Now we're going to go ahead and do it for the rest of the screws. Once all four screws are in, the bed simply goes in place and then is locked into place. Next up, you're going to remove the tape. And finally, we're going to simply slide in the spool holder. Remove the protective tape from the screen, plug in the power supply and switch it on. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up the Profad Mini Plus 3D printer. Now that the printer is all set up, it's time for me to explain a bit the attributes of what make a 3D printer work. However, we'll cover that in the next episode of A Noob's Guide to 3D Printing. In the meantime, if you want any information on this printer, I will leave links in the video description. I want to thank Profab 3D and Polymaker for making this series happen. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I will get to answering them. And until the next time, happy making guys.